Let's find the giant crane. Oh. Wow! Oh! <gasps> Hi, everyone. I'm Cora. I'm the giant crab. Are you here for a tour? I love having visitors. Oh, hiya, Cora. <laughs> uh, my name is Mickey. And these are my pals. Minnie. Hi. Daisy. Hello. Bunny. Hello. Donald. Hi. And this is Goofy. Howdy. Pleased to meet you, Cora. I'm so, so excited to show you all around my wonderful island. It's named after me, you know. I am the giant crab of Giant Crab Island. Now, my group, follow me. Stay together. Come on. Let's go. First stop on the tour, my home. Shady napping station there. Whoopee! Whoa, whoa. <sighs> and Sandy relaxation station here. This is relaxing. Right? That big rock is where I watch the sunrise over the Adventure Sea Islands. Wow! That must be beautiful. It is, but I'm most proud of my shell and hat collection. Wanna see? Oh. Yes, can we? This next place is really fun. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, hurry! Let's go! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> this hat makes me feel fancy. Ooh. And this one, voila! Oh, your beret is très magnifique. Thanks, Minnie. Sometimes I'll even wear one of my shells as a hat. Oh, it's pretty. Can I try one on, Cora? Hey, shells are meant to be worn. <laughs> and that shell looks great on you, Goof. Plus, I can hear the ocean. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, you ghosts. Where are you going? Back to Halloweenville. This town is no fun at all. Now wait just a cactus sipping minute. What's wrong with Sunny Gulch? Only everything. We came here for a visit from Halloweenville. We heard nice things about Frontier Days. The music, cactus juice, and the company of fine folks. Well, we haven't met any fine folks. Since we arrived, we felt nothing but unwelcome. Everywhere we go, everything we do, folks scream or hightail it on out of there. So, that does it. We're leaving early. Well, as the mayor of Sunny Gulch, all I can say is, I feel terrible. I thought you were only here to scare everyone, not enjoy all the town has to offer. <laughs> the ghosts were only throwing roses in the theater because they liked the show. So that means the ghost playing the cafe piano was entertaining us. Yeah, Tad was me, all right. And the other was only trying Sonny Gulch's famous cactus juice. And we scared him off. We're sorry. I knew there was something funny about all this. They were just trying to enjoy Frontier Days like everyone else. Yeah, what Wallface said. Finally, somebody would understand. Mm -hmm, that's right. I love tumbleweeds and troughs and everything Frontier. It just goes to show. We should always make visitors feel welcome, even if they seem different. You're right, Mickey. If I had just talked to our guests in the first place, all this trouble could have been avoided. I would like to apologize on behalf of Sunny Gulch and see if you might consider giving us a do-over. Oh, we oh, accept. we'd love a do-over. Huh? Yeah! for your help sorting this out. From now on, I'll see to it. Anyone who comes to Sunny Gulch is welcome like one of our own. <laughs> we'll be back next year. Bye for now, huh? Fly safely. <laughs> Gorsh, Donald. 
We haven't had much luck finding any dragons. Yeah, and I'm exhausted. Let's take a break. Ow! It's Farfus's family! <laughs> you must be Farfus's twin brother. You look just like him. <laughs> Goofy! Donald! Look, Mick, we found Farfus's twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call him Farfus Two, huh? or maybe Reginald T. Fire Bubbles. Uh, Goofy, this is Farfus. <laughs> huh? Uh, but guess what? I found his family, and they have a big surprise for you, Farfus. <laughs> hey, Daisy, I found Farfus's family. Well, hello. You must be Farfus's twin brother. I'm Daisy, and this is Minnie. Huh? Oh, Daisy, this is Farfus. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Come on, uh, let's go meet his family. To the mountain! Daisy, watch it! We finally got it here! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I love a happy family reunion. <laughs> so this is his family. It sure is. <laughs> Farfus was adopted by these fairies. We were searching for dragons who look like Farfus when we should have been searching for fairies. Oh. <laughs> Farfus, you were probably wondering why the cottage wasn't there. We wanted to surprise you by moving the cottage to your favorite mountain where you like to play. Sorry it took so long. We've had a tough time moving it. <laughs> and Farfus, there's one more big surprise! <laughs> You're gonna be a big brother. We found this egg in the forest just like we found you. And we're adopting this little one into our family. Ooh. Hey, it's hatching! Buttons and baby bows! <laughs> oh, a baby griffin! She's adorable. Now you have a baby sister and we have two wonderful children. Welcome, little one. Oh. What a beautiful family! There's a puppy, listen to me. You need to learn to stay safe and happy. We're gonna give you love and cuddles. Train you with treats, keep you out.
surprised heading off on adventures together is what we all love about Funhouse Forest. Yeah! yeah. You're right, Mickey. We love our adventures together. They're so fun. The outfits are my favorite part. And we learn so much, too. We sure do. We're here for the parade, Funny. <gasps> right on time, everyone. Here come our friends and their floats. Hot dog. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Rock and Mouse. Greetings, my fellow Mousetronauts. King Ludwig. Thank you for letting me borrow your floaty coaster, Goofy. Anytime, Mr. King Ludwig, sir. Let the spectacular adventure parade begin. Follow me, everybody. Here and there, up on the stairs, climbing up to everywhere. To Hot Dog Hill. How you doing, Tony? I'm good, thank you. Buttons and it's fun to work together on something we all love. Stars climbing up to everywhere. Funny nose, just where to go. Let the stairs do anywhere. Oh, bye bye. Upstairs we go. Let the stairs do anywhere. Fantabulous five plus one. We're ready for a picnic. Oh, yeah. oh, hi. Oh, what's that smell, Rubber Dub Dub? Well, I don't know, Magnificent Mouse, but it sure smells bad. <gasps> Today must be trash day. Herotropolis sanitation workers should be on their way to remove it soon. Why <laughs> See, it's their job to remove the city's trash and recyclables. Thanks, Hilda and Horace. Bye-bye. <laughs> We should find the other heroes and head to the park for the picnic. Good idea, Polka Dot Defender. First, we gotta find Captain Clarabelle. To the picnic! <laughs> Say, uh, where is she? I don't see her anywhere. Hmm. Maybe she's up in the sky. No sign of Captain Clarabelle. In fact, I didn't see any of the superheroes. They seem to be gone. Oh, no. Where can they be? Hello, Fantabulous Five. Whoa, whoa. Plus one. Thank goodness you are here. Are you all right, Dr. Von Drake? Well, as a matter of fact, all of our superheroes have left the city. They're all at the superhero convention. Oh, hero! Oh, oh my! Whoa. Whoa. It's those Verfluska weasels, his butt. They have been breaking the city rules all day. Hoverboarding outside of the hoverboarding park and lanes where nobody got hurt. But they're making such a huge mess. Oh, no! And with the heroes gone, there's no one to make sure they hoverboard where they're supposed to. Don't worry, Dr. Von Drake. We'll stop the weasels from making a mess of Herotropolis. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> but how about all of this mess? Looky what I found in the forest! Oh, that's swell, Goof! That sturdy vine is perfect for a round of tug of war! Oh, fun idea, Mickey! Tug of war is a great idea! Tug of war! I win! Let's see. Hmm. We'll need two teams. Oh! We can be one team, and Pluto, Teddy, and Tita can be the other. And Goofy, can we borrow your kerchief to tie in the middle? You got it, Bunny. This will help us see which side is winning. Each side pulls with all their might, and the side that can pull the kerchief all the way towards them wins. Bunny and I can referee and tell you who wins. Ready? Get set. Go! Come on, gang! Oh. And the four leggers are really pulling strong. Look at him, look at him, look at him go! We can do it! Keep pulling together as a team! And the two leggers rally! What a game this is, folks! We're doing it! We're actually winning! The Dino and Doggies win! win. Ahoy there! <laughs> Captain? 
Captain Bones? Well, I don't see him anywhere. Guess he's still searching nearby island. Say, Goof, look at this painting. <gasps> it's real good. Pretty colors. I didn't know Captain Salty Bones had a dog. Huh. She looks kind of sort of like the pup Donald and Daisy found. Hey, look, Goof. A dog collar. Cool. Treasure. Hmm. Oh! Huh? Say, I bet treasure is the name of the captain's dog. That means the precious treasure he lost isn't gold or diamonds. It's his pet. <gasps> Golly gee willikers. And Donald and Daisy have found her. Only they don't know who the dog is. Well, let's go tell them. Funny, can you take us back to Pirate Beach? Sure thing. Let's set sail, mateys. <laughs> I'll bring you on over. <laughs> Goofy! Donald! Daisy! Guess what? We know who this sweet dog belongs to! Who? Captain Salty Bones himself! The captain? We saw a painting of her on the captain's ship. Looks just like her. And we found her dog collar with a little treasure chest on it. <laughs> Is that your name, little gal? Treasure? <laughs> Treasure? You mean this is the treasure the captain lost? <laughs> Aye, that she be. My compass was working all along. Look, it's pointing to treasure. Goody goodness, we gotta find Captain Bones and get these two back together. Yo ho! Did someone call me name? You found me treasure. Here, lassie. <laughs> 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 oh, treasure. Oh, it'd be so good to see you. <laughs> your lost treasure was really your dog. I, the best treasure a pirate could ever have. Aww. A pinch of salt is just the thing. Pepper now to add some zing. Soup is done! Oh dear! Who could that be? Not again! More people coming to take more trees? Let's see if I can tell them not to without scaring them this time! Oh, buttons and bows! The deeper we get in this forest, the less I like it! We have to keep going, Minnie. Pete the Mighty really wants us to find Woodsman Willie so his people can have the wood they need and he can have pizza again. Can't we just take a little break? I'm getting awful hungry. Looky here. Goofy, don't! There's a witch in this forest. It might have a magical spell on it. It's the witch! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! I'm not scary! I wish there was a friendly looking place to hide! Huh? Hi again! Why don't you hide in this cute cottage? Wow! Thanks, funny! I'm sure no one scary lives in here! <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one! I'll say it was! Ooh. But look at this pretty little cottage. It's so bright and cozy. The wallpaper and that trim. Whoever lives here has good taste. Do you really like it? Over here, everybody. Settle up.
<laughs> oh, Funhouse friends! I'm so glad you came. I hope you all are having a super good time. <laughs> Gosh, Lady Clarabelle, thank you for inviting us. It sure is fun. Oh, thank you for bringing my pie tins back. Just sit them on the counter and I'll fill them up again. Have you had a chance to join in the celebration? No, not yet. I've been a pie baking machine. <laughs> oh, Lady Clarabelle, are there any more of those scrumptious peach pies? Why, certainly. <laughs> I've got one. Here you go. <laughs> Doodle moo. Wait. We're out of mini pies, Lady C. Could you bake up some more? Mini pies. Check. Pardon me again. Some more apple pies, too, please. Oh, of course. There we go. And some more cherry pies, please. Uh, yes, coming right up. And please don't forget the pumpkin. The uh, pumpkin, sure. Uh, that's the last one. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. Um, did you ask her if she needs any help? Good idea, funny. Okie dokie. Oh, dear. Uh, wash the dishes. Get the pies out of the oven. Uh, put more pies in. Lady Clarabelle, can we help you out? Yeah, we're happy to lend a hand. And you should be enjoying your celebration. And have some strawberry chiffon pie. Your favorite. Oh, I'll have some as soon as I'm done. Once I get these in the oven, I can run the fresh pies outside. And then I can get the empty tins, wash the dishes, get the pies out of the oven, put more pies in. Well, we can help you with all of that. No, no, it's all right. You go on and enjoy the celebration. I can do this by myself. It's what I do. She's adorable. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, she is adorable. She is. Oh, nice to meet you, Miss Puff. Oh, she's so sweet. Where'd you find her? I adopted her from the Hot Dog Hills Animal Shelter. And I'm so happy I did. Oh, <laughs> we're happy too. Look, they're playing together. She has a lot of energy. I think she needs some space to get trained. <laughs> she shouldn't be jumping on the books. Wow, look at her go. Uh oh Minnie, can you tell Cream Puff to settle down? Oh, but look at her, Funny. She's so cute. Okay, Cream Puff, time to settle down. Isn't she darling? Uh, maybe we should take Cream Puff through one of the adventure doors? Uh, that way, she can have more space to run around and be a puppy. You can show Cream Puff round Sunny Gulch, Minnie. You can train her there. Do I have to train her? Yes. Puppies love to learn things. And learning with no means can protect them from getting hurt. Pluto and Teddy, you stay here. We're going to take Cream Puff through an adventure door. Let's do it. It's time to climb the stairs. to train Cream Puff to sit, stay, and maybe even roll over. Oh, hey, where'd she go? Oh, oh dear, she went into underwater ocean world. I'll go get her. I'll go with you, Minnie. Need any help? It's okay. Why don't you head down and help Funny clean up the mess Cream Puff made? Oh. 
that mess. Oh, Donald! Uh -oh. Say, Donald, care for some dessert? Yes, dessert. Sure is. Yum! Go ahead. Gosh, Donald, you got something to say? Oh, Open the clam, and the curse is true. Everything he touches turns to clams. Well, at least no one was harmed. About that. Hey, Donald. <gasps> you forgot your pie. <gasps> Donald. I did it. I accidentally got spooky. I opened the clam and didn't tell the truth. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy the moment. Oh, you're okay. Yup, I'm happy as a clam. Finally, everyone's asleep. <laughs> okay, let's climb the stairs. Here and there, up, up the stairs, climbing up to everywhere. Funny knows just where to go. Up the stairs to anywhere. Next stop, the land of dreams. <laughs> well, that's different. Wait a second. We're back in the fun house? I'm confused. Are we asleep or awake? Well, I think we're asleep. My dreams usually start off in Funny's living room, but it's always just a little different. Yup, we're in Goofy's dream world. <laughs> but it doesn't look any different to me. <laughs> Not yet. My dreams don't get scary until the stairs to who knows where appear. Don't you mean the stairs to anywhere? Nope, I don't know where these stairs go. Every time I start to go up them, I wake up all scared. Goofy, did you ever think that maybe if you climbed all the way up the stairs, there might be something totally fun at the end, like when we go through an adventure door. Maybe you're right. I agree with Daisy. Let's climb up the stairs together, like we always do. Remember, Goofy, you're safe with us, and it's only a dream. Gorge. Uh, Okie doke. I guess we can. Oh, your dreams really are strange. Okay, everybody, let's just uh climb the stairs. Let's go, everyone. This is one tall dream, Goofy. It sure is fun walking upside down. Well, if you say whoa, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This way, everybody. We're almost there. Come on, Goofy. You can do it. All right. I'm coming. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure about this. It's okay, Goofy. If we all stick together, we'll be fine. Hey. Remember, none of this is real. <laughs> oh, gosh. I sound like Minnie. Hot dog. Buttons and bows. I sound like Mickey. <laughs> you, you sure do. Hey, what's that big idea? Quackers, that was a close one. <laughs> yeah, did you hear that? Y'all are talking in each other's voices. That's hilarious. It is. Now just keep climbing, Goofy. Remember, you've got all your friends to protect you. Do I really sound like that? Oh, <clears throat> and that's better. You see, Goofy, you never know what can happen in your dreams. Sometimes, it's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Just think, if you had woken up, you wouldn't have heard our voices change. And you wouldn't know what's up ahead. I guess you're right. <laughs> but what is up ahead? An adventure door. I've never been asleep long enough to see that before. Wonder what's on the other side. Well, I guess we'll have to go through it to find out. Yeah! This way, watch the stairs. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Be right with you. How are we looking, Donald? Still on course for Lost and Found Island? I am, Mickey. How about 
about you, Wendy? How's the weather up there? Mortimer! Say there, why don't you let me have a turn at the wheel? I'm an expert at steering. Gorge! Mickey usually handles the wheel, Mortimer. Say, if you want to help out, well, I'm about to polish all the brass on the ship. Polishing brass? Nah, not for me. I like to do the big jobs. Oh, every job on the ship is big, even the ones that seem small. You said it, Daisy. A ship is only ship shape when the crew knows what to do and works together. No problem. I can sail the seven seas. I can do it all with ease. Don't even need a breeze. Ha cha cha. Ha cha cha. Give me a chance, I'll take it. And even if I break it, I can fake it till I make it. Ha cha cha. Ha cha cha. Ha cha cha cha. I'll pretend I know it all. Don't need your help, just watch me go. Ha cha cha. Ha cha 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 cha. Though I've never even tried. Gonna fake it like I have. Enjoy the show. Ha cha cha. Ha cha 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 cha. I'll pretend I know it all. Surprise! <laughs> All aboard Snow Train Funny! Next stop, Sunny the Snowman! Watch the flash, Funny! Yeah! And hey, let's go over some hills, too! Does that sound good to everybody? Yes! Let's go! Well then, hold on! <laughs> Everybody, it's snowing! Ha! What do you know? It's the same magical snow we used to make Sunny. Oh, I bet we could use it to make another snow friend. Great idea, Minnie. Say, Sunny, oh, would you like to have a snow pal to play with? <laughs> no! Hot dog! Let's get busy building! Snow! Snow! <laughs> Makes it much more fun making friends <laughs> along the way. That's right. All aboard, let's go, let's have a ball. Let's go, let's have a ball. All aboard, let's go, let's have a ball. Let's go, let's have a ball. Let's go, let's have a ball. And new friends are welcome, welcome, warm and all. I say boom, boom, what do we do? We're gonna make some friends that's brand new. Boom, boom, what do we say? Everybody welcome on this train. Yeah, much more fun making friends along the way. But what are we going to call you? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. I know. Why don't we name you... Rosie? Boom? Oh, welcome to Winter Mountain. I'm Minnie. And these are my friends, Mickey, Donald, Daisy, and Goofy. Hi, Rosie. Nice Hello. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> boom, boom. And this is our snow pal, Sunny. Snow? Boom! Boom! He's so sweet. Boom! 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 Aww, they're going to go play together. Uh. Belt Island, ahoy! Yeah! Uh. With some gate. Well, gosh, Captain Bones, how'd you get into the volcano before? Ah, uh, well, that'd be a long time ago, Mick. I don't recall how we sailed inside. Look, there's a sign. It says you must tickle the volcano's funny bone to enter. But there are no bones here. He thinks the volcano's funny bone is not an actual bone, no. Oh, I know! We have to tell a joke! Tickling someone's funny bone means to make them laugh! Oh, 
Oh, oh my! Oh, sales. Okay, <laughs> let's do a knock knock joke. <clears throat> Funny? Knock knock. Who's there? Garden? Garden who? Who's guarding the treasure? <laughs> <laughs> It's awfully dark in here. <laughs> hey, Donald, what are you? Is that a purple tiara? Quackers! Woo! I guess we need to catch up with them. Oh, <laughs> oh don't I look amazing? <laughs> Um, Daisy? Donald? Well, we're not here for the treasure. We're here to help Captain Salty Bones. Arr, that's right. Follow me down this path. Oh, Clappers! <laughs> Ready for takeoff. Enjoy your flight. Welcome to Korea. Thank you for flying airplane funny. Wow! Korea! So exciting! Please watch your step. Oh, I can't wait! <laughs> wow! It's beautiful here! Oh, it sure is! Come on! This way! Look! What a charming village! <laughs> this is a Korean folk village where we can see how people lived in Korea long ago. The festival for Lunar New Year's Day shows how it was celebrated in the past. Oh, look! Reenactors! They show us how people dressed and did things a long time ago. Hey, there you are. Hi, Funny. Hi, Yeyeon. Thank you for inviting us. These are my pals. Mickey, Hello. Minnie, Hi. Donald, Hello. Daisy, Hiya. and Goo. Hello! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Happy to have you all here! Thanks, Yayoon. I love the fancy outfits the reenactors are wearing. Thank you, Mickey! They're called hanboks. They're traditional Korean clothes. Families wear them for special occasions like Seollal, Lunar New Year's Day. Wow! What else do you do for Lunar New Year? All sorts of things. I'll show you. Follow me, Mickey. Hey! That's what I normally say! It's getting late, checkers. We better get to bed. The, do you think the Tooth Fairy will come and take my tooth tonight? That would make me so happy. Nighty night, girl. Oh, great. He's gone to bed. And checkers is asleep. We just need to walk quietly past checkers so he doesn't wake up. Come on, let's get that tooth out from under Willie's pillow without him seeing us. Oh, silly giants, always putting their doorknobs way up high. Quackers, how are we supposed to get in? <laughs> So she won't wake Willie. Yeah, and Goofy Daisy and I will go get Willie's tooth. Oh, let's try a toy. Yeah. Hmm. Shh. Wanna play? Uh oh. Uh -oh.
maybe if I tickle Willie's nose, he'll roll back over. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. We gotta get that tooth. The tooth fairy will be here soon. <laughs> About a treat. Oh boy! I'm hungry. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. No, not for you, Donald. I meant for checkers. <laughs> Great idea, Funny. We can trade checkers a treat for the toy. Sorry, Donald. Woo -woo. <laughs> oh, checkers! Treat. <laughs> Let's trade. Give us the toy, and you get the treat. But you need to eat outside. There. That'll keep that sweet little piggy out. Now Checkers won't wake up Willie. Sire, it's not too late. It would be an honor to go up against a strong competitor like you. Let's do it! Let the games begin! Let's start with the giant boulder toss and our two mighty athletes! Good luck, Saya! May the best athlete win! You betcha! Hey. Remember, the boulder that goes the farthest wins! Doesn't look right. Belay that map reading, Bush. You're holding it upside down. Well, boil me barnacles, it is. Thank you, first mate, Cuckoo Loca. You always know which way to go. Glad to help, Buccaneer Bell. We're here, and we need to go there to Pirate Beach. Oh my, what are those? They look like trouble. Well, those are, uh... <gasps> Shiver me timbers! Ship-smashing rocks! Oof! Uh, those rocks move around and smash ships! The water gets real choppy, making it hard to get away from them. As long as we turn at the whirlpool, we'll all sail clear of the choppy waters. We sure will! And now, keep the parrots company! Great! Everybody else, at your stations! We're setting sail! Aye, aye. <laughs> Ahoy! Ahoy, Stanker! Ahoy, pirates! Are you excited to see a pirate? Yep, we sure are! Absolutely! Absolutely. Say, you look really different from us. What kind of bird are you? Uh, cuckoo clock bird. A cuckoo clock bird? I've heard of one of those, but I've never seen one before. Is that why your tail looks like that? I've never seen a bird with a tail like that before. Hey! yo -ho! Personal space! And such shiny feathers. Are those your real feathers? What's the big idea? It's not nice to touch someone. Uh, I don't like that. Was it something I did? Um, Buccaneer Bell, which way does the map say to turn? Looks like we just hang a left at the Whirlpool. That should keep us clear of those ship-smashing rocks. Aye, aye, Buccaneer Bell! Done, Minnie. Now it's smooth sailing from here. Are we going the right way? <laughs> is it is it supposed to be so bumpy? Let me check the map. Hmm. Well, we turned at the whirlpool, so we should be going the right way. Oh dear, Miss Buccaneer Bell, I think the map is upside down again. 
We're heading away from Pirate Beach and straight to water. Smashing rocks straight ahead! Oh, no! Smashing, Smashing rocks? rocks? Uh oh We need someone to guide us through safely. Someone with a keen sense of direction. First Mate Cuckoo Loca! First Mate Cuckoo Loca? Uh, where did she go off to? We saw her go below deck. Everyone, help find Cuckoo Loca. Let's Come on. Get this way. Please hurry. We need to find out what happened between Salty and Pepper. Good idea, Goofy. Come with me and let's find out. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain Pepper. We're here to help. Help me find the treasure before Salty? No, help you and Salty be friends again. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. I'll never be friends with Salty Bones ever again. Oh, my. I've tried and tried to get her to tell me why she and Salty aren't friends anymore, but she won't use her words. <gasps> How can they ever make up if they don't use their words? Just talking about it might help you feel better. I'll try. <gasps> A long time ago, Salty didn't come to my birthday party. It really, really hurt my feelings. Gosh. Did you ever tell him how it made you feel? Of course not! I was too upset! Ah, oh, come on, Salty. Just tell us what happened with you and Captain Pepper. It'll help you feel better. <laughs> nope. Well, if you don't tell us, I'm going to keep saying, Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell all us, All right, all right, all right, I'll tell you. <sighs> she didn't invite me to her birthday party on the ship. It made me as sad as a mermaid out of water. Aw, oh, shucks. Of course it did. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, did you tell her that she hurt your feelings? Of course not. I felt too sad. I'm going to get that treasure first. Let's go. I don't think so. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. going through the adventure doors. You'll see. Follow me. This is how. <laughs> That's your first cloud door. The entrance to the kingdom of Majestica. Oh. Cool. This way. Look, there's the cloud kingdom. <laughs> hey, it's Farfus and Cuckoo Loka. <laughs> oh, hiya, boy. We're glad you joined our air rally. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Hey, what's with the rope? Something wrong with your plane, Daisy? No, nothing's wrong. I couldn't control my plane the last time I flew. And I'm afraid to fly it by myself. Ah, uh, I've been there. When I first started flying, I crashed into everything. I wanted to give up. Really? You're so good at flying. What did you do? I kept trying till I got it right. Trying again is the only way to get better. Gosh, that's a really good point. Do you want to try flying alone? Oh, I don't feel ready yet. How about taking a small step? Do something simple. Well, okay. Maybe I'll try holding the wheel. It's working. Whoa! Good job, Daisy! You're one step closer to flying by yourself! And just in time for the Land of Myth Cloud Door! We'll see you soon! Oh, 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 oh. oh, look! Franny really does seem ready to start flying, doesn't she? <laughs> it looks like your big brother wants to teach you. Oh, 
Forpus, that was some pretty fancy flying. Oh boy, I'm so rash! <laughs> I think Farpus wants you to try to fly now, Franny. <laughs> oh dear. Gorsh, I think Franny's afraid to try to fly. Aw, don't worry, Farfus. Maybe we can help. Oh, yes. You're a really great flyer, Farfus, because you've been flying for a long time. But Franny is just learning. I don't think she's ready for all that fancy flying yet. Well, it might be best to start with very simple flying. Like how to get off the ground and fly around. Maybe if you can come up with three steps to simplifying, Franny might not be so afraid. And I'll try them out and see if they work. Well, I've always wanted to learn how to fly. Ooh-wee! Floaty Coaster Fun Day is gonna be a rip-roaring good time. Mickey told me he and his pals want everyone in town to get a chance to ride the coaster. And after we've all had a turn on the coaster, it's churros for everyone! No, 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 no. I can't wait! Even though I've, uh, never been on a roller coaster before, or know what one is. <laughs> me neither! Hello, Sunny Gulch! Oh, my stars, it sure is a beauty. Boy, take a look at that baby. Oh, wow, fun! <laughs> so that's the floaty coaster? It's going really, really high. I am really, really fast. I, I don't know if I want to go on the floaty coaster. It does look a itsy bit uh, scary. Presenting the Floaty Coaster! And everyone gets a turn! Who's ready to ride? I was born ready! Oh, oh, oh. Me, me, me! I was born! Come on, Pete! I'll give you a hand! Yeah, Horace! Let me help you in! Um... We can't right now. Yeah! I gotta change my boots first. And I've gotta stretch. Okay, maybe later. Please keep cowboy hats on your head and your hands and feet inside the car at all times. Enjoy the ride. Wendy, you're cleared for takeoff. Oh, I can't walk. I can't either. Give it a try. Uh, I need to sweep up a bit. Oh, yeah, I, I need to sweep, too. All righty, then. Goofy, can we ride again? Of course. Wendy, take it away. Oh, 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 oh,
But it wasn't your turn to catch it yet. Now, give it back. Whoa! Looks like Pluto doesn't want to share our flying toy. Come on, boy. Remember what Mickey said. Play nice and share. Maybe we should find something else to play. I know just the thing. Ooh. Okay, Pluto. We're gonna play with this ball. And take turns kicking it to one another. Understand? Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Here it comes, Chip. Nice kick, Dale. <laughs> Great job, Pluto. Now kick it back to us. Pluto, it's not your turn anymore. Hey, Pluto. Come back here. Oh, it's no use, Dale. Pluto just doesn't want to share with us. Let's go play by ourselves. Everyone, meet Cho Soup. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shadow Mountain. I can't wait for us to play games and have a picnic. I know the perfect spot. Follow me. <laughs> Buttons and bows. It's beautiful. Everything looks magical. Speaking of magical, Bunny says you can magically shapeshift into an animal. It's true. I can turn into a nine-tailed fox. This mountain is filled with magic and magical beings like me. Here we are, our play spot. It's so pretty. <laughs> Who what? are they? They are Tokebi, Korean goblins, and they love to play. Annyeonghaseyo. The Tokebi invite us to play with them. Just know that they love games. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep up with me. That's a lot of tails. She shape shifted. She really did it. Told ya. Wow. Here we are. This is where Thalia is performing her comedy show. What a perfect place for a show! The only thing missing is the star. Where's Dahlia? I hope she gets here soon. It's almost show time. Oh, look! There she is! <laughs> Do you think Dahlia's nervous about her show? She's hiding behind that column. Maybe. Let's check and see if she needs some help. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Thalia. Are you okay? You look a little nervous. Um, yeah, kind of. It, it's because there are a lot of cats here. <laughs> the cats are making you nervous? Uh -huh. But they're so sweet. Well, they aren't sweet. They're scary. This one time, this cat tried to scratch me. Oh, dear. Well? And every cat I've seen in a play or a painting has looked scary, like those two. Thalia, that's just a painting. The cats in it aren't real. All the real cats around here seem nice. They just want to make friends with us. Some of them were even purring when Mickey pet them. That means they were happy. Is everything okay? <gasps> a ginormous cat! <gasps> Thalia, where are you going? Oh, what did I do? You didn't do anything. Thalia is afraid of cats. And she's a little uneasy about doing her show with so many cats in the audience. Oh, no. Let's find her. Maybe I can help her feel less scared so she can do the show? She ran towards one of the pyramids. <gasps> Look! An opening. She probably went inside. Well, pals, what should we do? We have the whole castle all to ourselves. Not really to ourselves. <laughs> the footman follows every step we take. Minnie, come look at this. 
Look at all these fancy costumes. Oh, how fun! Wow. Let's all dress up and put on a show. Did somebody say put on a show? Yeah, teach us! They're royal jesters, here to amaze you with song, dance, and comedy! <laughs> Gee, I think Minnie was thinking we'd do a show, not watch one. Do a show? By yourselves? The king never puts on a show. He wouldn't know how. <laughs> Did you try to teach him how to put on a show? Well, why would we do that? Well, we could just put on a show for him. Because it might be fun for you to teach him and for him to learn. I know we'd be happy if you could teach us. Well, I suppose we could. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Nice and easy. Hot dog. Oh, this is fun. Thanks for showing me how to do it. Try this. <laughs> You're a natural! There they go! It's a Dino Egg Safari! Everybody grab a baby egg and <laughs> let those eggs <laughs> <take> away! <laughs> Let's hurry! Gotta roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Since Horace was taking care of her earlier. Oh, I guess you're right. But it's just so much work. I know, Daisy. But that's part of caring for animals. We can't just do the fun parts, like riding and jumping. Our animals need us to do things they can't do themselves. <sighs> hey, pals, it's time to ride. Doodles, Minnie. I should have taken care of Taffy myself. It's almost our turn, and I still don't know what I'm supposed to do to get her ready. Will you help me? Of course, Daisy. Okay, but where do I even start? Like this. Grooming their mane, brushing their hair, cleaning and feeding and doing the work. You gotta take care of your friends with pride. She'll trust you when it's time to saddle up and ride. It's not always fun, it's not always cute. Sometimes there's stuff that's stuck to your boot, but when you take care of them, they take care of you when you're ready to to get to Lava Hot Lava Volcano. I'll wait for you here. Thanks, honey. You can talk to us on our Funhouse communicator. 
<laughs> oh, which way do we go, honey? Follow me, Mickey! You know, hiking is a wonderful way for the curious scientist to explore everything. We still have to fix the controller so we can keep playing the game. W where'd he go? There he is. He's talking with our little Triceratops friends. Cookie scientist Andre, these are our Triceratops friends. T-Top and his little sister Tilly. <laughs> I can't believe my good luck. Triceratops, you know, are my favorite tops of all of the Triceras. And I get to meet two of these young dinosaurs. Tilly, T-Top, we're heading to the volcano to get hot lava to fix our controller. So it won't break again. Maybe Tilly and T-Top would like to come along with us. Would you? <laughs> that seems like a yes. Well, come on, little feller. <laughs> and little sis. The more the merrier. Okay, let's try this again. get the hang of it soon, Mickey. Thanks, Funny. I hope my friends are having a better time than I am. <laughs> Sorry, mates, but the show hasn't started yet. Show? What show? We're practicing for our next show. We're the Wheeze Tones, Coo 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 Choo. And you're in the Cavernous Club, oh, where man. everything is rap, 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 and <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, it sounds great. I'm Minnie, and this is my friend Donald. We came here to find some instruments so we can rock out with our friends. We've got exactly what you need right here. Fancy jamming with our band? Fancy? Oh, do you mean would we like to play along with you? Yeah, oh, we'd yeah. love to. Let's rock! Remember, since Daffodil and Stella are with us, we'll just be looking at the mud today. But we can get across on those rocks. That way, we won't be playing in the mud. Good idea. Let's go. Go, Goofy! Go! Jumping jelly beans! Way to go! Huh? <laughs> Stop! Uh -oh. Hold on! Quackers! They must have seen us having fun jumping on the rocks and want to do it too. You're not supposed to play in the mud. <laughs> oh no! Stop that! Cut that out! <laughs> Doodles! <laughs> oh. Hang on! We're coming! <laughs> Daffodil, you and Stella weren't supposed to fall! Like they're at the mud pit. <gasps> uh -oh. Hurry, this way! <laughs> oh, come on, pals! Oh, no! The babies! Daffodil and Stella must have seen you two playing and thought it was okay. We're sorry. We didn't know they followed us. But Daffodil and Stella did. At least they're unstuck now. Well, come on. Now let's get back to our safari. Oh, oh, run! run! Minnie, Daisy, Mama!
Mama Mighty is already at Pete's Palace, and the clock hand is almost at the top! Oh, dear. We've got to round up Baby Donald and Baby Pete. Would you look at what those babies did? The bags don't match the shoes! Get them! Hey, baby. Come back, baby. Hey, hey, baby, this is way too crazy. Got me running out around oh. town. Come back, baby, no one don't mean maybe when I say you need your nap time now. Slow down, baby. Got me running out around and around and around. Hey, baby, always on the go, go. Come back, baby, come home. Hey, baby. Gotcha. <laughs> Oops. We're doing this wrong. Instead of us chasing the babies, we need to get them to come to us. Oh, I know. I heard Mama Mighty talking about how much Baby Pete loved his baby bottle. Of course. Babies love bottles. And they're probably thirsty, too, after all of this playing. Come on, Daisy. This way. Wow! <laughs> that sure is a big stack of pizzas. Hi, gang. Glad you could make it. We're still building our monument. A monument? I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Sure you have, Goofy. A monument is a structure or a statue built to celebrate something great. <laughs> like this statue over here. See? Yep. And we're building the greatest monument to pizza ever! The greatest monument to the greatest food ever? It's Pete the Mighty! Are you here to have pizza with us? I was. But all this talk about monuments gave me an idea. To build a monument to something even greater than pizza! Chocolate pizza! Yes, but no, no. A statue of me, the greatest king ever. Hold your applause. And I know just the spot for it. Follow me. Sure, your mightiness. Sounds fun. Hey, what about the pizza? Don't worry. It'll be here when you get back. Let's go. together with friends and play games. What should we play today? Ooh, I'm always up for a round of color bonanza. We already played all these games. And besides, Minnie, you always win. Oh, I don't always win. Well, okay, sometimes I do. Okay, yes, all the time. <laughs> what can I say? I'm good at games. Uh, uh, how about we try a new game? Yeah, I don't like that. Puzzle Beak? Hmm, I've never played this before. Oh dear, what if I lose? There's a call coming in from Martian Mickey and Martian Minnie! Spacely salutations, Funhouse friends! Hiya, Martian Minnie and Martian Mickey. What's happening? Oh, we're calling to invite you to the grand opening of a brand new interstellar fun center. Check out this fun video. See there, friend? Do you like fun games? Delicious grub? Having a good time? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Then fly on over to Asteroid Pete's amazing cave of amazement. We got it all. Starcade games, space ball batting cages, and a mini golf course that is out of this world. Ooh, my favorite game. I'm really good at it. And it's even got my name in it. Mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> See? Doesn't it sound fun? <laughs> yeah! It sure does. does. Fantastic. See you in a slip slurp. <laughs> I mean, in a minute. We're on our way. Watch out! Twisty trail ahead! Whoa! Oh, no! 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 Oh,
<laughs> we're okay. You weren't trying to hug Kyle again, were you, Goof? Nope. I just wanted to say I was sorry. You were? Yeah. Kyle, I'm sorry for trying to hug you when you didn't want me to. Aw, uh, it's okay, Goofy. I may not like hugs, but I sure like you. And hey, I do like high fives. Oh, yeah, sure, pals high five too. Just because I'd rather not hug, it doesn't mean I don't like you. And that's okay, I've learned today, that's not what everyone likes to. Hugs are not for everyone, not for everyone, and that's just fine. We can still be best of friends, still be best of friends, so give me five, just give me five! <laughs> My shutters! Mexico City is so exciting and colorful! <gasps> Look! Posters of Donald, Panchito, and their friend, Jose! Donald, you're famous around here! That's us! That's me, Papa Yellow! Hi, I'm the next one! Hola, Donald! El Día de los Muertos song. Yeah, it's okay to be sad sometimes, missing friends and family. But we have a special day to remember happy memories. El Día de los Muertos. Doodles, why are their faces painted? This makeup is traditionally worn on Dia de los Muertos. And I just happen to know a very talented makeup artist that can do your calavera skull makeup, if you would like. Yeah! Uh, sign me up! Me too! Okay, follow me to the makeup booth. Let's, Let's go! go Adios, amigos! Say, Cora, how'd you like to be my first mate today? Oh, you knew it! Yeah! Um, okay, uh, what is a first mate? First mate is in charge of steering the ship and helping the captain. Oh, yes, yes, yes! I'd love to be your first mate! Yo-ho! First mate Cora, report to the ship's wheel, if you please. Aye, aye, captain! Ah, <laughs> just a fine day for sailing. <laughs> Gorge! Being first mate sounds fun. I want to be first mate. But the captain already asked Cora. Maybe you can be first mate on our next pirate adventure. Now for your jobs. Up to the crow's nest with you. And keep a weather eye out for ocean obstacles. <laughs> we don't want to bump into anything. Aye, aye, Captain. I can also play a little tune while I'm up there. Goofy, my boy, you have a very important job. I do? Your job? is to keep the deck clear. A pirate ship must be tidy. Tidy? Is that all? Well, of course not. You're also in charge of keeping any loose ropes tied off or coiled up. We don't want any mateys tripping over them. Oh, shucks. By the wind and waves of the adventure sea, yo-ho, we go wherever treasure oh, be. Boy. Goofy, what are you doing? Showing you how to steer. Always happy to help a first-time pirate. But I'm the first mate. See, you turn it where you want to go. <laughs> Cora, straighten out the ship. Look out below. <laughs> Sorry, Captain Salty. No problem. I'm fine. Spooky fun! Cookie!
lucky scientist Von Drake's laboratory is up that way. Thanks, Bunny. Woohoo! How exciting! Oh, boy. Broken toaster in position! It worked! The Watsonider fix it, Ray fixed it! With one zippity zap, the broken piece of junk disappears and then reappears fixed! Now we gotta find something else to fix. Back in a jiffy zap! Okay, we'll be here! Let's give this machine a try before he comes back! Oh boy, let's see what it can do! in here? We didn't hear anything. Hmm. Is the ray pointing backwards? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, we're not looking at you at all. What are you talking about? You're... Invisible! Jumping Geo's radish! I am invisible! My what's about to fix it? I is broken! Thank you for helping me with my pie deliveries, everyone! No problem, Lady Clarabelle! They sure look good! Shush my Something well, it can't be my pies. Oh, no, it's not the pies, Lady Clarabelle. They smell wonderful. Uh, then what could it be? Oh, 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 we better find out what's causing it. Stinky smells can come from lots of dirty things. Hopefully, cleaning up will make the smell go away. And then we'll deliver Clarabelle's pies. Okay. What's that smell? What do you think? Save us from that terrible stink. Sniff and whiff wherever we go. Gotta find out, so follow your nose. It's a stinky, skunky mystery. Oh, sorry, Donald. Skunky socks or cabbage do. What a nicky, yucky, stinkaroo. It's a stinky, stunky mystery. Ooh. Hot dog. The town's all clean. Yeah. Everything smells fresh as a daisy. Yuck! Oh dear, the smell is still here. It must be coming from somewhere else. Help us! <laughs> so, somebody save me from the stink! Now would you stop that? Well, hi, Farmer Pete. We're trying to figure out where the stinky smell is coming from. Oh, I know it's where. From my farm. Follow me and hold it your nose. Mr. Mayor, maybe you could tell us what made you so upset. Oh, look at those. <laughs> oh, those turnips don't look bad. They are. They're supposed to be giant turnips. See? But when they arrived, they're not giant. Oh, it's so teeny. <laughs> Too bad. He's so mad, his batteries are sparking. Why did you need the giant turnips? Well, the Halloweenville Spooky Fest is next week. I was going to carve some big spooky turnip lanterns out of the giant turnips. 
Well, uh, can you make something else with the tiny turnips? Tiny! Uh-oh. Turnips! <laughs> Golly, <laughs> maybe Mayor Frank and Pete could use a B-Com plan? What is a B-Com plan? A B-Com plan can help you handle your anger in a better way. Oh? Better how? Well, did smashing your garden and breaking things make you feel better? Well, uh, no. A Be Calm plan helps you handle big feelings, like anger, by doing an activity that distracts you. This helps you calm down and feel better. Yeah, we all use a Be Calm plan. I should do. Really? My mer helpers, no time to waste. We gotta make sure this place looks seahorse spectacular. Goofy and Donald, you two will be hanging garlands. Oh, you got it, Octo Pete. Minnie and Mickey, you two positioned the glowfish for dramatic lighting. Don't worry, we'll make sure the lighting is spot on. Daisy, you help me with this checklist. First, we make sure the clamshell carriage is a smooth ride for their grand entrance. Uh, boy, and second, we taste the desserts for our guests. <laughs> and finally, make sure the music sounds perfect. Quackers, now I've got two fun important jobs, ring keeper and checklist checker. Good luck. Daisy, keep the ring safe. Today's a special day. We all have a job to do. The party day must be just right, and it's up to me and you. Does the cake taste delicious? Are the decorations done? Is everything all nice and clean? Cause it's time to be begun. Today's a special day. We all have a job to do. The party day must be just right, and it's up to me and you. Yeah, it's up to me and you. For my birthday, I would like... Hey, hey, what do you say? What do you want for your birthday? Just name it, cause we got it guaranteed. <laughs> One flying car, snow skiing, no. a manatee, uh -huh. a ten-gallon bucket of nacho cheese. What? Name it and we got it for your birthday guarantee. But what about a magic carpet? Oh, well, I didn't just say so. <laughs> Dog. We need to get the coins for the ceremony. Say, Kyung Wan, uh, what do coins mean? If the birthday baby picks the coins, it means they'll have good fortune. Oh, that means good things will happen for them. Where can we get coins? I have some, but those are mine. Look, Donald, they're yoka bees. One of the Korean goblins Chosuk introduced us to, remember? Hello there! They're saying hello! Hello there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Is asking if we would do a little work in exchange for coins. Golly! What does he want us to do? Let me ask. He wants us to help harvest Mu. Doyo. Hey, that? That's Mu. It's a really yummy Korean radish. Ooh, maybe that'll be one of the snacks at HR's party. Anything to get coins for the ceremony. <laughs> Let's get harvesting. We'll have to work together to pull it out. One, two, three. <gasps> Thanks. Uh, 
uh, the winter ball is supposed to happen right now. The, the ball can't start if we can't get inside the castle. Oh, King Ludwig, I understand what it feels like when plans change. Especially when they were plans you were excited about. My friends and I had planned a picnic, but then it rained. So we came here for our picnic, where we got to be fairies and work on magic. Yeah, and it's been a blast. You see, when plans change, you can still have lots of fun. Just different fun. Oh, really? Sure. In fact, I have a different kind of idea to help save the Royal Winter Ball. Well, up to it then. Go, do, help, save. Hit the road already. I threw a party, but then it rained. I had to change it to my dismay. But I decided to try again because the point of the party was to be with my friends. I had to change my shoes and try up something new. It wasn't what I planned to do, but it was real fun too. But it was real fun too. Welcome to the winter ice Well, would you look at that? <laughs> Beautiful. I hereby and forthwith declare this the best Royal Winter Ball ever! Hooray! Let's go! Fetch! What was that sound? It sounded like Teddy's toy again. I don't see it. Me neither. Fetch again, Pops. Teddy's still running differently. And he keeps scratching that same side. Uh-oh. I think Teddy's done playing. You want some more water, Teddy? Teddy sure is thirsty. I wonder if it's just too hot for him here. Maybe he'd like to go someplace cooler. Winter Mountain is nice and cool. A great idea, Goof. Let's take Teddy there. I'll stay here with Trio and Pluto so they can keep playing. Me too. Me free. All right, then. <whistles> Taxi! <laughs> At your soivers. <laughs> So long, everybody. Yeah. Next stop, Winter Mountain! I bet you feel cooler already. Right, Teddy? <laughs> Yep, looks like Teddy's feeling better. You see, Woodsman Willie? With a little magic from my grow tool, spring planting should be a breeze. Watch the meadow grow. But not too much. Wow, it is magically magical. Yeah. Here, let's go. Uh, wait a second. Are you sure you want that bush to be that big? Oops, I missed one. If it's too tall, it'll block the sun from all the other plants. Perfect. Let's go see our friends. We're coming, little pals. Whoa, whoa. To see what we've planted so far? Sure! Show them, Willie! Wow! I can't believe the plants have grown so big already! Well, spring 
planting is a snap with my special grow tool. You want to see? My grow tool stone is missing. Hmm, now where could it be? Not that, not that one. Uh, oh, no, that's an anvil. Oh, boo, I lost it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Without my grow tool, we need all the help we can get. We're more than happy to help. Oh, thank you so much. I want to thank you. to make this right, Captain. Darn tootin'. Crystal, what can we do to help clean up the mess we made? First, you weasels can help me get the Seed Star's vacuum and throw it over to Mickey and his pals. We're happy to help. <laughs> then, we'll all suck up the pink algae from the swamp, and after, we'll clean all the animals. Come on. You, you got, got it. Great. Ready to vacuum up some pink algae? Let's go. Yeah. Here you go, Mickey. Let's get to work, gang. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Oh, it's working. Cool. It sure is, pals. Another order of pink algae to go. All done vacuuming. Now, let's clean the animals. Oh, look at your clean little fishies. Hold on, little froggies. Done. This algae's tough to get off the turtles. Whoopsie. I'm done. Sorry. We didn't know the pink algae would make you sick. You missed, missed the spot. spot. There you go. Hold still, Trollin. We have to measure you for your heroic knight outfit. A knight needs a heroic cape. Heroic helmet coming right up. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Here, try this shield out for size. Perfect. Okay, your turn. Excellent sword. Thanks. Hi, 
Hey, I look like a real heroic knight. But am I one? Sure you are. We just need to find you an adventure. <clears throat> I happen to have an adventure in need of heroic knights. You do? Inside this wooden chest is a special gift for King Ludwig. Would you brave knights make sure it is delivered safely to the castle? It would be our honor, Iron Smith, Horace. Come on! <laughs>